Hi family, as always, it's good to be back with you and it is equally good to see you again as we continue reading from our prayer letter, input from others. You know, it's a wonderful thing that I actually collated all of this material. Um, there's a part I didn't share with you, which was kind of an, an introduction to the letter generally, where I said, I said to my readers and I said to them, this journey could not have been the exciting even the enjoyable one it has been, if I did not have travelers. In a sense, they have climbed into my skin, and so they vicariously walk with me. So far, they have not had to sing, Abide with me, fast falls the evening tide. <laughs> Writing with a sense of a live audience inspired me to keep sharing my goodies as they came in, as well as the not so goodies. I can't remember. I read this at the beginning of the um, of the sharing from this letter. Anyhow, it was indeed therapeutic to be able to write, metaphorically speaking, from the very eye of the storm. My readers encouraged me not only with their presence, but by their responses to some of the letters. Ingeniously, my travelers serve as witnesses corroborating that what I wrote in the time frame outline and that what I penned was a bona fide account of my trek through the desert. All right, so I'm going to tell you now about this friend. We've been friends for many, many years. Her name is Dawn Minot. And when she sent this to me, she was living in South Africa at the time. She lived in Barbados for many years and for a few years, and that's how I met her. She says, it was humbling to be considered a friend of Nola's and to be invited to accompany her on this journey that has been a life-changing experience for me. When I was struggling with understanding the will of God, it was Nola who directed me to God's waiting room. And it is from that sacred place of waiting and watching for the manifestations of his will for my life that I have journeyed with her also watching for his manifestation in her life. This is a journey that has shown me what faith really is. Nola's journey has repositioned my understanding of faith. I've come to realize that her decision to submit her help completely to God's will is truly about expressing her faith. And even more so, it's a powerful testimony about who she is expressing this faith in. I am so very glad that Dawn was one of those persons who was able to conceptualize my journey and my writing in that way. I just inserted that, that not written here. <laughs> Knowing full well that this journey may not only be through the shadow of death's valley, but could lead to death because she understands faith and because she knows that the God in whom her faith is anchored is able. She journeys continuously in his will. Having journeyed vicariously through the valley with her, I am encouraged to re-examine faith. I feel extremely privileged to have walked this valley with Nola, to be part of what many would have deemed a private affair. Nola, she says, you have used even your ill health to strengthen me physically and spiritually. You could not have done a more selfless thing and I will always be grateful. You're my blessing and I thank and praise God for you. I love you around the world and back, D.A. Now, my comment on Dawn. Dawn is one of my travelers who has stood unflinchingly by my side. I was impressed to include here a poem which she composed and gave me in a lovely card in October 2003 when she lived in Barbados. She also wrote another one of proleptic import. Dawn's poem inspired me to higher ground and I am challenged to be all that she lovingly envisions of me. Thanks Dawn. Now this is her composition written in 2003, and I had it on my desk at school for such a long time. She says here in this poem, it's entitled Special Friend. One day, God looked through the portals of time and stopped at my page for a little while. He saw days in my life when I wasn't as strong, 
and everything I tried just turned out wrong. And he thought, what will I do to help my child? At last, I give her a special friend. He decides. He looked at you and your friendly way, your laughter and spirit brightening a dark day, a dedicated person, gracious and kind, always giving of herself, never seeming to mind, trustworthy and devoted on you he can depend. So God gave you to me to be my special friend. And she says here, thank you for being a friend to me, Don Minot. And I want to say, even though Don and I do not talk, as I said, every every week, every month, she is, she has the qualities of a good friend. She's a very, very talented and creative person. She writes lovely poems and prose, etc. I don't get to read them all the time, but she's a wonderful person. And Don, I want to thank you for having taken the time to document those words so many years ago, but which have survived time to be in a book and to be read now in the year 2022. Thank you, my friend. I love you also to the moon and back. God bless you so much. All right. So friends, I think I said be winding down. I think I have another one or two. I can't read everything in that input from others, but I would like to encourage you though to um, get the book, you know, can get it. Well, primarily no, probably as an ebook. Um, right. Okay. God bless you. And are you going to come back? I am going to be looking for you. Bye-bye.